Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to do a tier, a tier maker list for the Kiss albums. The original ones were, uh, they were a makeup. And we're not going to go beyond that because uh, there's two I haven't really got a full listen to. Uh, these do sound pretty good though. But we're going to go through the ones um, before they put the makeup back on for Psycho Circus. So we'll start from the very beginning. So Kiss is Kiss. So this album was a little more um, harder edged than a, a lot of the other stuff. It's the first um, first album. That's like Cold Gen, Strutter, um, Deuce is on here. Uh, it's, it's Solid Black Diamond is on here. So it's it's a it's a very good Kiss album. So we're gonna put this on the B tier. The next came Hotter Than Hell. Which I think they have down here. Yep. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of Hotter Than Hell. I mean, I didn't dislike it, but it wasn't wasn't the greatest um, wasn't the greatest tape, I should say, to me. So we're gonna put it at C tier. Has like Parasite on it, Out of the Hell. I think I think Strange Ways is on there. So, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't like it as much as um, Kiss is Kiss. So the third album, Stress to Kill. This is a very short album, but it does have Rock and Roll All Night on it. Um, some other like uh, more unknown tunes. It was it was okay, so definitely C tier. I did like the cover. They were in suits, and the makeup on. I thought it was kind of cool. And then what came next would be a live, but they don't have a live on this list. Maybe it's a studio album. I'm guessing, but a live is of course what kind of set them in in motion to really be one of the biggest bands in the world. After a live, which had uh, the live version of Rock and Roll All Night on it, which had the guitar solo, which is probably the most um, played version of the year. Next was Destroyer, which probably is an S tier album. Um, if you're into hard rock, metal, you probably want Destroyer in there. I don't know a lot of people uh, think Kiss was a little too more too pop or too bubblegum, but it just has God of Thunder on it, Detroit Rock City. Uh, it does have Beth on it. I also have Shout Out Loud, King of the Nighttime World. So very good. Definitely S tier. Um, then we get into the next ones. So next came Rock and Roll Over. Which, um, very cool cover. Uh, actually, I actually had a jean jacket back in the day with this patch on the back of it. Um, like I said, I, the cover's very cool. has Dr. Love on it. Mr. Speed. Uh, a couple others. But to me, it's actually, um, it's not a Kiss album I would, like, pop in on the regular. So that's down the seat here. It's still good. It's not a bad album. Then the next came Love Gun. Uh, Love Gun has, of course, the title track Love Gun on it. I Stole Your Love. Uh, a couple others. I'm kind of sticking to beats here because it's my favorite, probably my favorite album cover. Uh, I think... Of theirs, it probably should go in C tier. Has a has like mm, probably three solid songs on it. I should say solid, uh, three standouts. It's a solid album. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in B tier because I, I did listen to it more than I did uh, with these. Then we're moving on. Alive 2 came out, which was not as good as uh, Alive 1, but it's still okay. Well, I guess that's done. <laughs> okay. Um, next we have the solo albums came out. Where they each with their separate ways, but stayed under the KISS logo. So you have Peter Chris's, which I didn't like at all. Paul Stanley's, which, yeah, I didn't really like that either. And Gene Simmons, which I also didn't like. Uh, I did, however, like Ace Frehley's quite a bit. I had New York Groove on there. Um, well, it's all his stuff. You know, I was a big Ace Frehley fan. And I believe this one did the best out of the four. Uh, it's definitely more hard rock. Actually, Paul Stanley's is probably the, the second most hard rock. These two were really not. Um, but Ace's definitely deserve an A tier. 
So after that, we come into, of course, Dynasty, which is said to be their disco album. I'm actually going to put this in B tier. The fact that it goes in B tier is because it has 2000 Man on it, which Ace Freely uh, redid, which was a Rolling Stone song. But his 2000 Man is very, very, very cool. You should definitely listen to it. Um, that's some other odd tracks on Dynasty. So I didn't mind it. Uh, I was there for Loving You was the hit track, which was the, the disco esque track. But uh, it has a decent guitar solo in it. You know, it's very short. But uh, 2000 Man worth a listen. Then we have a lesser known Unmasked. So I'm putting it in B tier because I grew up on Unmasked. Uh, it's more of a pop sound. Excuse me, more of a pop sound. Um, than the other Kiss albums, but not overly as much. Uh, again, Ace Frehley has some good songs on there. Uh, Peter Chris has some good songs on there. Uh, cool cover, comic book art. Uh, I really, I, did, I liked it a lot. I still do. So, you know, people are probably like, why is this up here versus <laughs> these? But uh, I, I think this is the right order. After that came The Elder, or music from The Elder, which is not a very good album at all. Um, you know, I liked it more than these solo albums, so I probably did listen to it more. It had Dark Light, a song called The Oath, uh, some other songs. I guess it, uh, I heard it's supposed to tell a story from first track to end track. It just didn't, um, it just wasn't great. So, music from the elder. Then we reach into 1982, Creatures of the Night. You know, Ace is on the cover, he did not play on the album. But this has I Love It Loud on it. Uh, War Machine. Uh, a song called Danger. Creatures of the Night itself. So this is a harder edged album. It's very good. Very cool. It's a cool cover. So they are missing a couple things here I noticed. Um, they're missing Smashes, Thrashes, and Hits. Which is non-makeup. But they're also missing um, Killers. Which had two, um, two original tracks on it as well. It's kind of like greatest hits, but they actually had two, two tracks on it as well. So Killers is not on the list. Um, the only new two new songs, though, you know, it probably just be a C tier because it's more of a, a greatest hits, like Double Platinum as well. But so that is it for the makeup tier, the original makeup for Psycho Circus hit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rate the rest of them. So 83, the makeup came off, Look It Up came out, it actually is a BT, I mean Vinnie Vincent joined the band, uh, but this has the title track on it, All Hell's Breaking Loose, um, Young and Wasted, On the Eighth Day, um, yeah, it's, it's very, it's pretty good. After that, 84, Animalize came out. Which is pretty unmemorable. I only can remember Heaven's on Fire. I mean, I hate to put it in D tier because that's a good song. And I'm, I don't know, I should listen to it again maybe, but I'm going to stick it down to C tier. 85. Ugh, Asylum. So Bruce Kulick is a very, very, very good guitar player. And it shows in the music, but they looked horrible. It was like that. It they looked horrible during this time. I couldn't stand it. I hate this cover. Um, stick it down D tier. I mean, I hate to do that because the guitar playing is pretty good on it. And the songs are okay. So it probably should be C tier. I just can't. Uh, the, I just hate the way they look. It, it was horrible. I don't like the dress the way the Golden Girls is, is bad. Very bad. 87. Crazy Nights came out, which I liked. Um, I understand. Uh, I hear a lot of people didn't like it. Uh, I'm going to stick it in B tier because it kind of got more back to roots. I mean, after you have this mess, and two years later, they're, they're back into looking more like a, a hard rock band. You got Crazy Nights, Turn On The Night, a couple other songs from there. So, I thought it was pretty good. Put it in B tier. In 89, Cotton The Shade came out. I'm going to put it in B tier as well. So, I think it did pretty well for them. Uh, this was the first time I got to go see Kiss. Actually, the only time I saw them. But it was a good concert. It has Hide Your Heart on there. Uh, I think Forever is on there. Uh, a couple other good songs. So Hot in the Shade, B-Tier. 
and then 92, then 92, the Vintage came out. It was very good, Unholy uh, was the first track they released. It was very hard rock, more metal. Uh, just one of on there. So it's a very solid album. I keep saying solid because I mean that's what they put out. Put out solid albums. So if you were a Kiss fan like I was, or in. So Revenge is very good. I dug it. Put an A tier. Um, so far that's the only non-makeup A tier we got here. It's also kind of funny like Ace is not on this album. He's the solo albums up here. Uh, only one S tier. Alive, Alive would be S tier as well. Uh, 93, Alive 3 came out, which I didn't pay any attention to. There was an Unplugged album, which I never paid attention to. Um, I did listen to a little bit of Carnival of Souls. I'm just going to stick these in C tier. Uh, it sounded very good. So, that was alright. Then we had Psycho Circus. No, oh, that's not like the Psycho Circus. Uh, I really like the title track and the video to this, so I'm going to stick it in B tier. Um, yeah, and, uh, he says a song on there. Yeah, I'm also getting beats here. So, to put the makeup back on. It's pretty cool. That was 98. And then with the newer lineup, we had Sonic Boom. Seems very solid. And Monster. So, I haven't got a. These three, I've only really gave a, a chance to listen to really all the way through. So, I'm going to stick them with seats here because I know they're at least good enough to. To warrant to listen to. Um, these you can probably skip. I hate to say that about Asylum because, like, the music's not that bad. Um, but here we have it. So S tier Destroyer, Ace Creatures Revenge. Uh, quite a bit in the B tier. C tier is equal to the B tier, and then the D. So. Yeah, there we have it. I keep wanting to push this up to C just because, but they look terrible. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, yeah, that seems about right. Oh, yeah, I was a big Kiss fan, still am. So, but to be fair, this is, I think, how it, it breaks down. 